Guess who's back? Yes, it's me. I love you guys, and welcome to an all-new edition of All Andy Alfred. I'm back on the air yet again, and I'm in a suit today for you guys. Just for you guys. Welcome to the show. This is Tuesday. This is actually Wednesday, the 16th of December, and um, I'm happy to be back on the air. I mean, back here at Studio 61. Uh, before I begin, um, lately uh, we've been discussing a new show. It's called Andy Rants. I'll be talking, ranting, and raging about something that's happening in my life, and. Um, We'll have a new episode. We'll have a fresh episode, a new episode for the new show, starting after this show. So we're gonna take two shows today. But this is all Andy Alfred. This is your sports right here, baby. This is your sports. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Bruce Drennan for uh, uh, mentioning me on his show recently. Uh, he was talking about a rap group. Uh, that performed all uh, the All Bets Are Off rap. It's really good rap. I love it. And um, he mentioned me from a kid. He said there's a kid in uh, the Detroit area who does sports. That was me. I'm Andy Alfred Bruce. I met you here in Toledo. He, and you say you know everybody. I'm just saying. But I'm back and um. Things have changed. The jackets. Getting a headache already. They lost last night to Minnesota 2-1. to one. And uh, since I have not been on the air with you guys, I got the chance to go to opening night, which was a blast. A blast. And I thank the fine people of Columbus for having me for opening night and I got club seats best seats ever highly recommend you go to opening night but recently the Jackets are have been on a skid they lost last night 2-1 to one to Minnesota and Monday night to Nashville 5-3 with that in mind here's the standings in the central division of the NHL Chicago is 20-8 and three, they're 43 points. They lead the division. It's second is Nashville. They're 20, 11 and three with 43 points. So they're tied for first place. In third place, the Detroit Red Wings. 17, 11 and five with 39 points. Now, the Red Wings are battered up right now. This would be a perfect time for Columbus to pounce. Columbus is right now at 500, at 14, 14, and 6 with 34 points. And in last place, St. Louis, 14, 12, 5 with 33 points. Other scores last night in the NHL. Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia 6-1. Calgary loses to St. Louis 4-3. Tampa gets destroyed by Nashville 7-4. Washington 6, Colorado 1, and the Kings... We've been on a roll lately. Won last night 3-2 to two over the Edmonton Oilers. In the standings in the Western Conference, this is the key conference for this part of the region, L.A. is in first place, which is surprising to me. 22-11-3 with 47 points. Now, in their last eight games, in the last ten games, excuse me, 8-1-1. One, one. Yeah. 8-1-1. One, one. Colorado is in second in the division. They're 19, 11, 6 with 44 points. They're 5, 3, and 2 in their last 10 games. Chicago is in third. They're they're 28 and 3 with 43 points. 6, 3, and 1 in their last 10. Rounding out the playoff spot in eighth place is the Detroit Red Wings. They're 17, 11, and 5 with 39 points. 6, 3, and 1 in their last 10. The Columbus Blue Jackets are in 13th place in a 15-team division conference. A 15-team conference, and the two worst teams are St. Louis and Anaheim. 
and we lost to Anaheim on Saturday night. How the hell do you do that? It's ridiculous. They give up the worst. They're the worst goals against goals average. Goals against average. They have their the opponents are scoring a hundred and nineteen goals. A hundred and nineteen goals. I mean, what what can you do? It's unbelievable. Well, you can always look to a bright spot in the NHL, and that is New Year's Day. We're 15 days away to the Winter Classic between the Boston Bruins and the Philadelphia Flyers. That is in Boston at Fenway Park. That's going to be a good game. Go on NHL.com. You can watch them build the rink right there in between center field and second base. It's pretty cool. The walleye. Now, now, before I get into the walleye, let me just say, I got the chance to go to opening night for the walleye since I last saw you. It is interesting to watch the crowds not show up. We had, It was 7,000 for opening night. Of course, you just got to be sold out for opening night. But I got a chance to go down there two Wednesdays ago for uh, Wheeling versus Toledo. The total attendance was 3,000 in an 8,000 building seat. $15 isn't enough. I, they have a plan on Wednesday night. Student IDs. If you're going to college or you have a student ID, show that ID. You get in for 10 bucks, Like the old sports arena. And, and it it gets on my nerves that they are charging four dollars for a soda. Sports arena cost was three. Nachos used to be four bucks. Now they're five. You don't get everything you want. I mean, I'm spending thirty dollars on one night of hockey just by itself. It's ridiculous. But uh. It's just you, you just gotta know something, you know. Just one second. You know, over here I, on the clothes hanger, I have a T-shirt that somebody gave me. I'm gonna show you this. It is for 13 bucks. 13 bucks, you can get the official Walleye inaugural season shirt. It's a nice shirt. I've worn it a couple times. On the back of it, you gotta get hooked, baby. You gotta get hooked on the walleye. The walleye are in second place. They won last night against Cincinnati. Five to two. And the division. They're le they're in second place in the division. With a record of 13, 10, 0, and 1 with 30 points. So get hooked on these walleye. After all, we're not going to have an arena football team. You might as well just get hooked on the walleye. But like I said, the uh, average attendance for a walleye game is 5,000. But they're lying to you. It's 3,000 per game. A uh, special benefit coming up on uh, on New Year's Day at noon at the LCA, the Lucas County Arena. It will be the Kyle Cannon game. 100% of the proceeds will go to Kyle Cannon. It is the Clay Eagles taking on the Lake Flyers. That is a nooner. And then afterwards, you can stay around downtown, wait for the walleye to start, and then you, you, you're you set. I mean, you mean you can watch the hockey game, go to the benefit, watch the benefit game, go sidelines, which I usually do after the game, have a meal, and then go back over and get hooked on the walleye. But I'm Andrew Alford. I hope you have an excellent day. And remember, as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. And especially the teams right here. Victory is sweet. When you have tasted defeat. Remember, fans, get hooked. 
on the wall. And go Jackets!